let's endeavor and do all things possible to keep to God's instruction for the family so we can be blessed. You see, I'm excited to welcome you to Tunde Fumi YouTube channel. We ask that you please subscribe to our channel for inspirational songs, powerful messages, and content that will bless you. Please do subscribe and you will never remain the same again. God bless you. Happy New Year once again to you friends. Like we said, we are starting a special show on this channel and we want you to be part of it from today. Today we have a special information for you from the Lord. And I pray we will all be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's topic is God's instruction to the family. God's instruction to the family. Let's see Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. It says, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Here we see the beginning of the family. God himself instituted marriage. And this is where God started the family. That's why we said that's actually, actually the church in the house. The first church before the large church that we all gather in. And so let's endeavor and do all things possible to keep to God's instruction for the family so we can be blessed. You see, God has general instruction for everyone in the family. But there are also some specific instruction to every member of the family. I am the husband, she is the wife, then we have the children. But let's start with some general instruction. Things we need to take note of this year and henceforth. One is the word acceptance. Acceptance. You, know, you need to accept one another. The husband should accept the wife. The wife should accept the husband. And then the children will accept their parents as they are. Don't compare them to any other. Number two is affection. Affection. We should express our emotion to each other. Husband, express your emotion to your wife. Wife, express your emotion to your husband. We should not be that stiff and hard. No, we should be vulnerable to each other emotionally. By that, you should be able to be able to be vulnerable emotionally to your husband and the same to the wife. That is affection. Express it. You will have to say something, husband, to express your love to your husband. I mean to your wife. And then the wife will have to also express the husband and the wife love to the husband. The third word to note is aspiration. You see, in this new year, you should have great drive to achieve great things. And by that we mean desire God's best for your family. Desire God's best in all areas of your life. Number four is affirmation. You see, what you believe for your wife, confess it. What you believe, confess. As you confess, you become. What you believe, you will become. You say it repeatedly. Affirm it. Don't speak any negative word on anybody this year. Don't speak negative word on your wife. Don't speak negative word on your husband. Don't speak negative word on your children. There should be positive affirmation. Number five, there should be accommodation. That means we accommodate each other. Sometimes you see my witness, she tolerates it. I see her witness, I tolerate her. That is accommodating each other. Number six, there should be amazement. By amazement, we mean that we should do things this year to surprise each other. Do things that she may not even be expecting, but positive surprises this time, this year, amazement. And finally, it is accountability. We should be accountable to each other. There are places she wants to go. She may not go there because she's accountable to me. There are places I want to go. I may not be able to do that at that moment because I'm accountable to her. And when I'm to go to anything or get anything done, I give her a report. This is what I've done. This is what I intend doing. And she also do the same. That is accountability. So remember the seven words to keep this year. Acceptance, affection, aspiration, affirmation, accommodation, amazement, and accountability. These seven keywords will help us in the year.